Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On the last episode of Kids Animal Stories, Ivy and Jack, two young Tasmanian devils, were out on their own for the first time. They were on their first grown-up hunt for food, and so far it hadn't had the best of luck. They had just had a very scary encounter with two grown-up mean Tasmanian devils and found themselves now hidden up in a tree. You see, young Tasmanian devils are actually really good at climbing. Often they climb trees to escape predators or other Tasmanian devils. Some aren't very nice to the young ones, and they've even been known to eat the young ones. Yikes! Psst, Ivy, do you think they're still close? Jack asked as he tried to get a better look below him. I haven't heard from them in a while. I think they've moved on, Ivy replied. The brother and sister slowly eased down the tree and looked around for any signs of the old Tassies. The coast was clear. They continued along the roadside and tried to keep their eyes peeled for any other lurking predators. If we could just follow this road through the forest, maybe we will find some open space or a farm or something, Ivy said. Moments later, in a few curves in the road later, they both started to hear a sound. Is that water? said Jack. I think so. Come on, let's get closer look, Ivy said. They followed the sound and very soon came to a rushing river. It was pretty fast moving water, but on the other side, they saw an open pasture. We have to get across. That might be our best bet of finding some food, Ivy said. But the water's moving so fast, said Jack. Come on, let's see if we can find an easier way across. They searched along the river and found a branch extending far over the water. The very tip of it just reached the other side, and they decided it was their best bet. Holy smokes, hold on. Do you think these two little Tasmanian devils should climb across a branch over a very fast-moving river? Or does that not sound like a good idea? What do you think? I don't know. Oh, dear. So they carefully walked across and were almost halfway when crack the branch snapped and they fell into the cold water ah, sploosh wait a minute said Ivy this is fun said Jack this was Ivy and Jack's first time in the water they were terrified at first but actually realized that they were really good swimmers Wow, did you know that Tasmanian devils were good swimmers? I definitely didn't know that. Oh, I was so scared, but whew, then it's, I don't know, it feels like I've done it a thousand times, Jack said. He was so surprised and proud of himself. Me too, but come on, let's keep going. I'm hungrier than ever. They walked and searched and walked some more through the grassy pasture. They were searching for any sign of something to eat. But it was awfully quiet. Where are the sheep? asked Jack. I'm not sure, 
said Ivy. They were starting to lose hope. Maybe it wasn't an actual sheep pasture after all. Maybe the sheep were there a long time ago, and this was just a grassy field with no food for them. They were almost ready to turn back or head to another group of trees far in the distance when they heard a sound. Hey, what was that? I'm not sure. Ivy was cut off by the sound again. It was a rustling sound like something was moving in the grass. As they followed their ears, they finally found it. Lying in the grass was a carcass being eaten by a handful of vultures. They saw Ivy and Jack and quickly flew away. Jack, it's food! Have lots of it too! Ivy couldn't contain her excitement. She started to dig in. The sound of their bone-crunching jaws could be heard from a long way away. The two ate and ate. They were masters at eating almost half their body weight, and they sure needed it. All the extra energy went straight to storage in their tails, and when they got tired, they fell fast asleep. Hmm, it sounds pretty smelly to fall asleep by a dead, rotting animal. But to a Tasmanian devil, it's actually a delicacy. Tasmanian devils will sometimes fall asleep inside a carcass just to wake up and eat some more. That's like the grossest thing I've heard all week. Holy smokes! Ew! Even though it sounds pretty gross, this is one way they're able to keep eating quickly and keep the icky bugs from getting into the meat. Holy smokes, they crawl inside of the dead animal and eat it. Wow, Tasmanian devils sure do like their meat. The following morning, Ivy and Jack ate a little bit more, then sat together, soaking up the feeling of being really full and well-rested. Ah, Ivy, what a crazy adventure this was just to find some food. (laughs) You're telling me, Jack, Ivy replied. I guess that's what we Tassies are good at. Moving, eating, and I guess swimming, climbing, and we do it all over again, (laughs) Jack said as he thought aloud. Ivy smiled and said back to Jack, And there's nothing I'd rather be doing. Let's do it again tomorrow. Ivy smiled as she said it back to Jack. This may be the end of our story but it is only just the beginning of the amazing adventures that these two Tasmanian devils have waiting for them in the days to come. The end. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Great job, you listened all the way to the end. All right, I'm going to test your memory skills. Back in part one of this story adventure, we learned where Tasmanian devils spend their first three months of life. Do they spend it in the nursery? Do they spend it in a den? Or in their mother's pouch? Dun, 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 dun. (laughs) Yes, Tasmanian devils spend it in their mother's pouch because they are marsupials. Wow, friends. Well, my critter protectors, I hope... You have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!